Question number four. The following information is collected by a firm to know the effect of an advertisement campaign. Year advertisement cost ten thousand. Sales in crore. Obtain the regression line of a sale on the advertisement cost. Estimate the sale when the advertisement cost is five lakh. Now here remember, this is what the extra information जब भी आपको देते हैं वो आपका x होता है. Directly don't take five lakh. Here you can see the advertisement cost is ten thousand. So just divide it with ten thousand. So here you will get x value is fifty. Next. Just take the information in your book. Here you can see the circle which I have already assumed as a assume mean for the for finding U and V. First, let's check with you. Look at the number. क्या वो किसी भी एक टेबल में जाते हैं? When you found it is not, so assume it as a one. Same way, just check in Y. जब पॉइंट के बाद कोई भी नंबर दिया हो अगर पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट फाइव ऐसा कोई नंबर हो तो पॉइंट फाइव में जा सकता है पर यहाँ पे सारे नंबर अलग है सिक्स एट टू एट टू फाइव ये किसी भी एक टेबल में सारे नंबर नहीं आते दैट टाइम यू हैव टू टेक जीरो पॉइंट वन रिमेंबर पॉइंट वन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द कैलकुलेशन एक्स माइनस एज यू मीन दैट इज ट्वेल्व माइनस ट्वेल्व डिवाइड बाई वन जीरो फिफ्टीन माइनस ट्वेल्व डिवाइड बाई वन दैट इज थ्री दिस इज हाउ I have already explained you, so just continue with your calculation in your calculator. And the total of this column I found one twenty one. Next to find out v five minus five divided by point one, you will get zero. Five point six minus five divided by point one, you will get six. 5.8 minus 5 divided by 0.1, you will get 8. This is how you have to continue. And the total of this column here we found 181. And the multiplication of this two 0, 3 six are 18, 3 eight are 24, 11 into 20, 220. And just continue with this calculation. You can do it in your calculator directly, and the answer for this we'll get four three nine four. Next, u square. That is the square of this column. Zero three three is a nine. Three three is a nine. Eleven eleven is a one twenty one. Twelve twelve is a one twenty one forty four. Twenty six into twenty six, six seven five. Sorry, not five six. And the total of this three one five five. Now, as usual, just keep into the column, into the formula. N the number will be eight U V that is four three nine four minus sigma U that is one twenty one sigma V one eighty one. Divide by eight sigma u square three one five five minus sigma u that is one twenty one whole square c y was zero point one and c x was one. Now just continue with your calculation which I shown you. Here the calculation has been completed and the answer we get is zero point one two five five है तो आगे वाला digit बढ़ जाएगा and the answer will be zero point thirteen of b. Next is A where I kept y bar and b x bar. Here you can see the value. After this calculation, regression line y on x has been kept. Here the value of A and the value of b is kept. The next is x, which I shown you in the textbook, will be fifty. So three point seventy three plus three point seventy three plus get them multiply. You will get sixty five. That is six point five, not sixty five. Get them add. You will get ten point twenty three. At the end, don't forget to write down. Then hence the estimate of sales y obtained is ten point twenty three crores. Next question. Question number five. The information of eight construction companies regarding the number of contracts received in a year and annual profit is as follow. Here is the number of contracts and the annual profit in lakh. 
obtain the regression line of the annual profit on the number of contracts verify the reliability of regression model now when they are asked about the reliability means here they are asking coefficient of determination hope you remember the formula and everything so first let's take all the information in the book as usual just remove the x bar and y bar out of this here we can see the y bar is in decimal and the value is also large here we are using uv formula so for uv here x minus a now for the assume mean first check with the number which is carrying a less value here we can see the 2 and even check for cx ye sare number kisi ek table mein aate hain nahi aate right because 2 hai 5 hai 9 hai nahi aate to cx will be 1 next for y minus b this is the y column and for b we'll take a less value here we can see a hundred put your column may hundred subject chota number hai so here we'll take hundred now for c y just check piche ke do number deko zero 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 here we can see five zero so means sare numbers 50 ke tables mein jayenge so c y will be 50 Hope you remember the calculation. 2 minus 2 divided by 1, 0. 5 minus 2 divided by 1, that is 3. And we'll continue for the remaining. Same for y also I'll show you. 100 minus 100 divided by 50, obviously remains 0. 300 minus 100 divided by 50, here we'll get, here we'll get 4. Next, 700 minus 100 divided by 50 will get 12 and just continue with the calculation for uv then get it multiply these two column to get uvs then the next u square that is the square of this column here you can see the v square that is for the solution of coefficient of determination after the calculation all the information has been kept in the formula and here we found v as a 91.67 next here we found A as you can see the value of 518.75 minus this is larger than this one. So we got the answer in minus and out of this the regression line Y cap here we found minus 122.94 plus 91.67x. The next is to find out coefficient of determination as we use the UV formula. So the UV formula will be continue in to find out coefficient of determination. So let's keep all the information. N that is 8, sigma UV. Here we found 478 minus sigma U that is 40, sigma V 67. Next, 8, sigma U square that is 278 minus sigma U that is 40 whole square. And the multiplication of another root 8 sigma v square this is the reason we count this calculate uh, this column that is 831 minus sigma v that is 67 whole square and the square so let's first calculate this here we get 3824 minus 2680 divide by remember when we remove this square this square root will get cut and the square root will only re remain in numerator and in denominator will cut with root now let's calculate this 8 into 278 here we'll get triple 2 4 minus 1600 into 3000 minus 841 this is the one bracket and keep another bracket now get them subtract here we'll get 1144 under square get them minus here we'll get 624 into get them minus 2159 the square of this you will get 1308736 divide by the multiplication of this two you will get 1347216 equals to 0 0.97 which is very near to 100 which means the regression model is reliable moving to the next question
question number 6 which is given on your page number 155 obtain the regression line of y on x from the following data and estimate y on x y for x 30 so here n is 10 sigma x is 250 sigma y is given sigma x y and sigma x square so out of this which first we are going to solve x bar that is 250 divide by 10 here we'll get 25 the next y bar where the sigma y is already given 300 divide by 10 will get 30 and out of this information we'll choose this formula to find out b so here we'll keep the information 10 sigma xy that is 7 9 double 0 minus sigma x that is 250 and sigma y is 300 next and 10 sigma x square 6 5 double 0 minus sigma x square that is sorry sigma x is 250 and remove square of this here we get the answer for b the next we'll find out a as the question is asking regression line so we'll complete the whole process y bar minus b x bar the y bar which we found was 30 b 1.6 and x bar was 25 so out of this calculation we'll get 10 the next is to find out regression here we'll first keep the value of a 10 b 1.6 and the value of x which is given in the question that is 30 get it multiply you will get 48 and the final answer will be 38 next question number 7 the following result are obtained for a data n is given sigma x sigma y sigma x square sigma x y is given now later on it was known that one pair 10 14 was wrongly taken as 11 and 40 so the correct one was 10 and 14 and the wrong one is 11 and 4 so by correcting the above measure obtain regression line y on x and estimate y for x 5 here i wrote the correct observation that is 10 and 14 and the wrong observation 11 and 4 so for the correction process first we'll write down first we'll find out with the sigma x so here we start with sigma x the correct way uh, that is 30 now the here remember this is the information of x and this is the information of y so here we'll take first the correct one that is 10 which would be add and the wrong observation will be get minus so here we'll get the answer 29 that is for the sigma x next we'll find out sigma y that is 5 plus the correct one and minus the wrong one here we'll get 15 the next is sigma x square that is 670 plus now we'll take the correct one 10 square remember when we are finding a square you have to keep square and minus the wrong one that is 11 square 670 plus here 10 into 10 100 minus 11 into 11 121 and here we get the answer 649 next is sigma xy which is 344 now here we'll add xy together which is the correct one remember to put the multiplication and subtract the wrong one xy that is 11 into 4 344 plus get it multiply 140 minus 11 into 4 that would be 44 and the final answer will be 440 now here after the correction we'll now find out x bar that is sigma x upon n take the correct value that is 29 divide by n that is 12 and here we get the answer 2.42 
Next, to find out y bar, take the correct value for sigma y that is 15 divided by 12. And here we get the answer 1.5. The next, we have to find out b. So, out of this information, again the same formula will go that is n sigma xy minus sigma x sigma y upon n sigma x square sigma x whole square so let's go with the uh, let's keep all the correct information in the formula after keeping all the values at the end 0 0.70 we found then a just keep the y bar y bar and x bar and the value of b here i got the answer minus 0 0.44 then keep the regression line where I keep the value of A and B and the value of X which is given in the question that is 5. So minus 0 0.44 plus get them multiply you will get 3.50 and the final answer is 3.06. This was the last question of this chapter. See you in the next chapter.